Alright, what's up guys? Troy, ATXRC Productions. Got my solo here. Yes, it's been wrecked, but we're all good. We're going to go see Dr. Uh, Scott Horn on Monday at 3DR. So, frequently asked questions. I've been uh, on the Facebook page trying to help some guys get going and get up and running. Um, they've run into some similar issues that me and a couple other guys uh, have been able to troubleshoot because we also had very similar issues. One thing we got to remember, guys, when we get into this new age of drone technology and utilizing tablets and especially iPads. Look, I'm not going to get into an iPad uh, Android argument, but the, I chose iPad specifically because it's a single unit or a couple of the very similar single units by one company um, with its own OS. It's simplified. It's just stable. That's all, I, that's all I'm going to say. Um, but we're relying on these things for a lot more these days, especially with something like Solo, the Inspire, and even the Phantom 3. You're relying on these for your FPV kind of video work and being able to see, which is demanding a lot of these things. Um, they're not all the same, and they don't all run the same. We don't all have the same software, and we don't all run them the right. Anyways, bottom line is this is where we have to start remembering that if there's any connection break or any slight change in the way that we turn everything on and get everything connected, that it could alter everything. It could give us a false signal of, hey, it's safe to fly, and then all of a sudden, it's not. And I'm not saying that's 3DR's fault. It's just us as a pilot, because we should still be pilots, remember that there's a lot of stuff to interpret and think about and remember to do. So, that being said, it's a little confusing. The startup guide looks beautiful and it's great, and it is actually step by step, but I will interpret it for you. <coughs> in the, <coughs> sorry guys, I'm finding a little bit of a uh, cold. In the box, attach the props, attach your GoPro. I personally wouldn't attach the props yet. I'm sorry, but I think that should be changed. I think it should just be locate the props, and figure out where they're going to go, set them aside. <laughs> um, attach your GoPro, yeah, that doesn't need to be done yet. Get your 3DR solo app, that does. So get everything out the box, get your app. Install it on your phone or your compatible device, um, open it, force kill it, restart your device. That's my advice. Restart your device. Always restart your device. If you ever have a problem, restart your device. If you ever have a problem, force kill your app, restart your app. But if you ever have to force kill your app and restart your app, be sure to land and make sure everything is connected and full functioning. I personally would land, restart my solo, maybe leave my controller going. Remember guys, think of the Solo controller as a wireless router, essentially. I could be wrong about this, but that's how I think about it. The wireless router is the centerpiece. Your app is connected to the wireless router, and the wireless router is connected to the Solo. The wireless router is how you control this thing. So, that's how I look at it. There's not a separate Wi-Fi system. You can't connect to other Wi-Fi units, blah. For right now, that's it. Networked, all three accessing each other. So one goes down, and they're all very vital to each other you have to kind of make sure they're all back together um, same thing at your house anyways we're not gonna get in all this reset your device reset your device land and reset your device um, attach GoPro I take that out for right now later we'll talk about that connect Wi-Fi to solo leak so hold the power button and it automatically connects to the controller then it tells you to power on the controller this is fine. This is what I'm told by 3DR because I had a post that we were responding on where last week a 3DR rep said the actual correct, even after setup, the actual power on sequence is solo radio app. So power on solo, power on your radio, connect the Wi-Fi, and go to the solo default password. Do that. It then says to view from your HD GoPro. <laughs> Again, we're not worried about that right now. Learn to fly solo. We're not doing that right now. So get the app. Connect it to the controller, it's going to say it needs to update. Update the controller. Turn solo off. Turn the radio off. Turn off or kill your app. Turn on solo. Turn on radio. Turn on app. It should automatically go back to, I'm going to update solo now. Let it update solo. If it doesn't, go to the manual settings and update solo. Everything's done. Power everything off and kill the app. Force close the app. <laughs> the startup sequence at all times will be power on solo. Get it going and looking for signal. Give it radio. Radio will connect and say found and connected to solo. 
we are looking for GPS. Um, while doing that, power up your app or activate the app. Once all of this is done, power on your camera. After the camera is connected. The camera must be connected. The camera must be connected properly. If at any time the camera is not connected and the app is open, you might lose picture feed or start getting spotty signal feed. This is due to the app was on, or the app at one point was unplugged and now it's just having issues. It's not the app's fault. Just plug the app back in, kill the app, open the app, you're good. In my case, again, for now, I would be safe and land and I would reset everybody just because I've had my little incident where I had to force kill the app and then come back and the smart shot was in the middle. That's just me. Um, I think that bug is going to get worked out or is worked out. I'm not fearful, but I'm just going to be safe until, I don't know. I'm going to treat Solo very a lot safer. I mean, I'll be honest, guys. I'm going to use my Disco for flying really high and tight now. I'm going to be doing some of that stuff, but I'm going to be doing it in more controlled areas. I will not do the type of flying that I did around that tower just because of there are nearby areas that it had it actually flown away somewhere and not hit the tower, we might have had a bigger issue. So uh, I, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to take that risk anymore. That was not a poor, or it was a poor judgment of flight path um, or flight zone possibly. But that being said, it still veered off course and hit the pole or hit the wall. So real quick, we've got everything going. Another question is, I've got it all done, and now I can't get um, a picture feed from the camera to the app. And funny, because I did the same thing. Um, another guy, Steve, had the same issue, and he flew literally a few minutes before I did. He told me, yeah, I had the same problem. I just flew. Screw it. And I was like, dude, like, Brr. but I couldn't get mine to work either, so I flew. I came down and eventually I got it figured out because I had to force close the app. <laughs> and when I unclosed the app, it came back up. And I was like, hey, maybe if I just would have done that. And sure enough, force close the app would have fixed that problem. So make sure your GoPro is seated in the frame. I don't have my GoPro. I guess I do. Frame. Oh, shoot. I don't have a frame. Whoops. That frame's gone. Um, Yeah, I don't have my frame on me, man. Okay, when it's in the frame, make sure that the button is essentially centered in this frame. That's the biggest part. The frame should be centered in the frame. It's easy to have it just slightly out. And if you do, the wire that plugs in just won't seat properly. It might jiggle a little bit and you might get a flicker or you might get a weird color variation. Um, the, it's a really tight fit, so you just have to make sure that it's pushed back and seated. What I do is I actually put it in the frame, and then I get the wire seated in nice properly, and then I actually tighten the frame down around it to position it and get the final alignment. Um, make sure you do that. Uh, there's another little mod, or a little not mod, but tip, is to put a zip tie around the wire and the gimbal or the static mount. Mine's somewhere around here from where it came off the plate. Um, so yes, wire in, then power it on. Wire in, then power the camera on. If you ever have no picture or if it ever comes unplugged, power the camera off, plug it in, power it on. That should bring it right back up on the feed. If it doesn't, force kill the app and then bring it back up and that should bring it up. So how to get my picture up, that would be how. Um, again, I did this on my first flight too. Guys, don't rush it. Get it right, man. I promise you. Let me bumble through this stuff and have the issues that I have. Um, I screwed it up um, on the picture in the beginning, and I was like, hey, whatever. So I missed my maiden flight, so whatever. Um, another question about whenever you're doing the original setup. I've had guys say that they bricked it, that it's told them to power off. the. Apparently, it tells you to power off solo. Um, but it's still in the middle of updating and when they power back on it doesn't come up and so they get some weird light combinations So in the manual, which is a great manual to be quite honest page one It talks about LEDs solid white front and red ready to fly red pulsating front and back Solos under autopilot control red flashing alternating front and back control signal loss flashing rainbow update in progress solid green turn off one by one Startup successful. So 
whenever you start to start up and it, you'll see the sequence, it beeps at you and blah, 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 blah. It goes one, two, three, four, and then it goes to solid green without turning off automatically. Startup unsuccessful, please restart solo. So it is a little weird when it goes solid green without turning off that it's like, hey, there's a problem. You'd think it would go red. All right, trusty manual for all you guys that are bricking the solo by powering it off while your solo is uh, trying to update. You're saying that it says to power off solo, you bring it back and it's bricked. Um, all I can say about that is, first of all, reset the device. But while the device is resetting, reset solo, reset. Actually, I would leave the device off for a minute. Um, turn, turn solo off, turn the radio off. Um, then you're going to go get 9.7 out of your manual. Um, in here, it'll give you exactly on page 48 how to do a factory reset. We're going to then factory reset, which is going to restore everything back to its original function. I would then, if it were me and I brick something, dude, I'd go the full mile and I'd, un I'd uninstall, um, re-download and reinstall the app. Um, and then I would go back through the original startup process, which was, what was it, guys? Solo, radio, app. Solo, radio, app. Same as your startup sequence. Um, don't worry about the camera. <laughs> um, that's what I would do. And that's what's gotten DZ and the other guys flying. Um, after that, they've had the... Next issue, which is the GoPro issue. Uh, so again, when you ever have to restart solo, restart everything. Um, it takes just a few minutes and you might as well start cleaning fresh. Um, battery, 50% or more. Your battery is not gonna come but at 50% for your controller. It's like a lot of devices where it won't let you update if you don't have the proper charge because it's gonna, it knows it's gonna kill itself possibly. Um, another one, so this talks about making sure you mount it the right way, but Again, okay, people don't do that. Make sure you turn your settings upside down and all that good jazz. Um, blah, 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 blah. I mean, again, yes, it's your standard stuff, but it does have all the information in here, guys. I promise you there's a lot of information um, that just looking at and reading as far as the smart shots and how to set up, this will save you a lot of time in the air. Um, I printed mine. I would go print it. <clears throat> um, I really, I, I think that's, just all I was going to really talk about was those main little things on getting this thing up. Um, again, guys, this is this is our tool. This is ours to really see what it can do. Um, I know it's got all these auto features, but pick your flight zone safe, man. Go be safe and be in a better spot. I've done some risky stuff and I shouldn't have maybe done. Um, people might say I, I'm okay with how I did it, um, but be safe, fly safe. Um, do the calibrations, the startup calibration. If it asks for the level surface, do the level surface calibration. I've talked about it all the time. Start on your left side and your right side, then your back, then your front. Um, compass calibration is a little bit different. It's a spin all the different directions, but it, it like tells you in the status bar and it's done. <coughs> um, do your calibrations when it asks the toll. Um, don't over push it. Play with it in the low flight pass or the low performance level and do your drone selfies and do your cable cams and learn how to use those. Put on the A button, um, map it to stabilize mode. That will be your manual. Secondly, keep practicing the pause button. I keep saying it, practice the pause, practice the pause. Um, the pause button will save you if you're doing anything wrong. If um, you're in a flight mode, cable cam, and you wanna pause it, pause it. Before you start trying to fly, hit the fly button. Every time you come out of pause, hit fly. The reason is, is it stays in the other locked mode. This is good because you want to be stayed in your mode so you don't have to keep cycling into cable cam or into whatever. But it gives you a quick feeling of feeling like you're not under con proper control. Hit the fly button. The fly button or the pause button. If you're ready to take control because it's out of control or it's doing something you don't like, Hit fly. Fly and you're going. You can do what you want. If you are just a little panicked and or you have the time to just stop and just look and you know that it's safe, hit the pause button. You assess it, then hit fly. Pause, fly. Fly or pause, fly. Or fly, pause, fly. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. Uh, remember, reset the device. Reset the device. Land, reset the device. <sighs> I can't say it enough, guys. Reset the device. Make sure everything's plugged in in the sequence. What is our sequence? Powering on solo, powering on radio, then we worry about the app, and then we worry about 
connecting, then powering on camera. It's simple. Any of those things go wrong, stop, reassess. This thing powers up quick. Once you lock it in on GPS and you have GPS locked somewhere, if you have it available, it locks on quick. Um, there's no reason not to do it, guys. Um, anyways, I uh, hope you guys are out there having fun, man. Um, you know, uh, again, be safe with that 50 stick one last time with that too. That 50 stick, man, when you go to land, you have to hold down for three seconds, I believe. Um, that's the only way to get it to kill the motors right then and there on the land without going to the emergency, uh, which is on the, the radio. So um, map you stabilize to A, pause, antennas down, my bad, antennas down, not up like in the manual. This is per 3DR on the Facebook page, guys. Um, 20 degrees, same thing. It's just inverted 180, okay? Um, double check that if you want, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be coming out in a manual update real soon. Um, download your manuals, print your manuals, uh, frequently asked questions. Message me, put in uh, comments for questions you guys have or what you want to know. I'm sure I missed something I really should have talked about. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just trying to get this stuff out there to help these guys that are out there trying to get these things in there tonight. Um, so have fun, guys. B&H and three DSLRs, I'm pr pretty sure you'll be seeing yours tomorrow in the next couple days. Have a great night, guys. Fly safe. <clears throat> all right, trusty manual for all you guys that are bricking the solo by powering it off while your solo is uh, trying to update. You're saying that it says to power off solo. You bring it back, and it's bricked. Um, all I can say about that is, first of all, reset the device. But while the device is resetting, reset solo. Reset. Actually, I would leave the device off for a minute. Um, turn turn solo off. Turn the radio off. Um, then you're gonna go get 9.7 out of your manual. Um, in here, it'll give you exactly on page 48 how to do a factory reset. We're gonna then factory reset, which is gonna restore everything back to its original function. I would then, if it were me and I brick something, dude, I'd go the full mile and I'd un I'd uninstall, um, re-download and reinstall the app. Um, and then I would go back through the original startup process, which was, what was it, guys? Solo, radio, app. Solo, radio, app. Same as your startup sequence. Um, don't worry about the camera. <laughs> um, that's what I would do, and that's what's gotten DZ and the other guys flying. Um, after that, they've had the next issue, which is the GoPro issue. Uh, so, yeah.